You know, Persona 3 is a complex game about the struggles of death, coming to terms with all the pain in the world, but it's also about life and love and waifus. The game has many waifus, some brilliant and strong and definitely out of your league and a secretly 25 year old pretending to be in high school, but she's cute, so just let it pass. She's, she's gorgeous. My god. Some are pretty, but have a stick shoved up their butt, but I still feel obligated to date them because the game is guilty me to do it. But alas, I refuse. It just doesn't feel right. Some were a mistake and should have been left where they were. And some are lean, kind, sort of stupid, but should have totally been an option because look at this beautiful, beautiful man. But some waifus, oh, some waifus are unlike any other because, well, you ever wanted to date a toaster? You know, a calm white toaster that could toast, how it glistens in the moonlight. But maybe, you ever wanted to seduce a refrigerator? You know, how they're just so cool, and collective, and full of bullets, God bless America. Or maybe, you ever wanted to make out with a blender? Actually, no, that would hurt an awful lot. Um, maybe, maybe just Netflix and chill with a blender, but the normal chill, not that weird stuff, yeah. Then, Persona 3 has the waifus for you. I guess. Yes, truly a marvel of the future of love interests. She never sleeps, she never eats, she never leaves your side or gives you any personal space. Good lord, lady, back off! But she's flawless. She's perfect. She's a robot. A robot. But if you want to have a girl like I guess, date your toaster, seduce your fridge, flirt with your blender, and don't forget to strap boobs on it so you know it's a girl. Why does the robot have boobs?